smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. Early morning, day three. The river is to my left. And it's just a quiet morning. I've seen two dog walkers. Not bad overnight. I had a couple of fishermen come through at nine o'clock and ten o'clock. They're actually fine. Just a beautiful day. Crossing a side stream, that's the main river, going to the right. Yeah, we go uphill. Loads and loads of pheasants. Yeah, rough instructions. So I'm supposed to go, I think, this way. I don't see a path. So I'm just going on the edge of the field just so it's not so wet. But, uh, see where we get to. I don't think I'm quite on the right path but it does get to a road so I know I can find where the road is and go from there. I think I'll reassess my no signs bit in that if you're walking the opposite direction to me you do get signs but there's none Going my way. Good morning, day three. Oh, St Oswald's Way. Found a good place to pitch last night. Little did I realise it was actually close to some favourite fishing spots. So I had a chat with a few fishermen at nine, ten at night. But apart from that, it was absolutely fine. Today's the day we reach the coast and then head north up the coast. It's uh, not a bad walk this morning. But let's see where the day takes us. There's a bridge going under the East Coast Main Line. So if you're going from Scotland, from London, this is the line to take. This morning's livestock, thankfully, on the other side of the fence. Staring each other out. Another one mile roadwalk. But I can see the sea. Again, you walk straight through the middle of a farm. Heading for that village on the hill. Coming into the back of Walkworth. Through a bit of a housing estate. But thankfully, there is a sign telling me to go this way. Coming into Walkworth Village Centre. We have the castle behind us and the church and the town square in front of us. definitely know that you're in a town having not really seen anybody for two days there's traffic and people and I've got to go over that bridge and turn right ah, quite a nice surface to walk on cobbled over the bridge out of Walkworth and then a path down to the beach and the dunes Somewhere along here, I turn left. Good day. Playing Lynx Golf on a sunny day. So we're on the coast now. The sea's the other side of those sand dunes. And we're just walking beside a big golf course for a moment. Ah, 
I've been going half a mile. So it makes you wonder how, how long some golf courses are. Probably the links course is long the most. Through the caravan site, perched on the top of the cliff. At the top of the dunes, come all the way through there. Heading this way, but it's all been newly strimmed. So, very easy to follow. Just come in land a little bit to get round the river inlet. That's taking us back to the coast again. What a beautiful little inlet and harbour. Beautiful little town. Okay, double whammy. Cows and Almuth. It's about a half hour walk to get round this, uh, round the estuary bit, but you do get some beautiful views of Almuth though. Across the bridge, getting into Almuth. the river. Oh, getting to the sea again. So walking along that coast, had to go in that estuary, just couldn't get across it. There's Almuth and another Lynx golf course with a lot of people out enjoying the beach. A slightly manicured Cliff top walk. Every now and again we see the remnants of a Second World War installation of some sort. Quite a lot along the coast. Part of another Lynx golf course. And they tell you to keep close to the to the left. Very well tended compared to other grass. Slightly weird. Come through those trees. Through the golf club. Round the side. Off you go. Something a bit different. Having walked through loads of golf courses, beautiful links courses, but very well tended. I'm guessing these three posts and one out to sea. some form of navigation. This is a very well signposted path, Northumberland Coast Path. But unfortunately, because it has so much use, we get little stretches like this that are just wide bits of concrete and gravel on top. The plus point is you get the sea really close. later what that structure is way out to sea. Not many people here turquoise water by sands. What a beautiful little bay. Seeing more people now for day walks. But it's this standard of path all the way around the coast. So there's a gentleman over there. But it's a beautiful coast. Busy with day trippers. It's going to be in a guide, but that is quite a big sill that goes all the way out to the sea, covered in poo. That's clearly where the birds come to nest, covered in 
bird crap. Very reminiscent of the Southwest Coastal. And you went down to the edge to go around the field of caves. Close to this castle. Just leaving Cresta. I'll suck the drink in that pub. Beautiful little harbour. Cows by the beach. Another golf course, but linked courses, narrow and long, so it takes forever to get by them. Over the bridge, in the middle of the golf course. Hopefully, it's a good pitch for the night. Smash that like button. Woo! Like and subscribe. <laughs>